Hi friends, good evening once again. Welcome back to my channel Mukambiga Nursing. Friends, here we are discussing questions for ESIC exam preparation. Also with this question, you can prepare for RRB and other nursing officer exam. In the previous video, we discussed questions from pharmacology subject wise we are discussing questions if any suggestions please put comments in the comment box i can prepare questions accordingly today's questions are from pediatric nursing we can see the questions first question which neonatal reflex is absent in a child with spastic cerebral palsy options option a a graft's reflex option b rooting reflex option c moro reflex and option d none of this our question is which neonatal reflex is absent or will not be present in case of spastic cerebral palsy this spastic cerebral palsy is the most common type of cerebral palsy and which is characterized by upper motor neuron muscle weakness our question which reflex is absent in case of spastic cerebral palsy it is moro reflex option c is the correct answer move on to the next question at what age child can walk up and down stairs options option a 2 years option b 3 years option c 4 years option d 5 years here a child or a baby can stand without support by 12 month walk without support by 15 month and child can run by 18 month and can climb up and down the stairs by 24 month 24 month is 2 years so option a is the correct answer over here and the next question which among the following hormone helps in skeletal maturation of fetus options option a thyroxin option b oxytocin option c progesterone option d testosterone which hormone helps in skeletal muscles development or skeletal maturation in fetus it is thyroxin so option a is the correct answer on to the next question which one is the last neonatal reflex to merge is options option a graft's reflex option b rooting reflex option c moro reflex option d pincer graft's reflex which a reflex will come last or the last neonatal reflex is to coming out is rooting reflex option b is the correct answer move on to the next question incomplete evacuation of bowel is known as options option a tenismus option b dysentery option c diarrhea option d melina incomplete evacuation of bowel that means the patient feels that he can't able to empty the bowel properly okay incompletely evacuating the bowel that is known as tenismus option a is the correct answer and the second option dysentery dysentery means blood within the within watery stool that is diarrhea with blood that is known as dysentery diarrhea is frequent passage of motion and melina means black tarry stool it is mainly due to upper gi bleeding okay melina is due to upper gi bleeding on to the next question most common site of neural tube defect is options option a lumbar region option b cervical region option c lumbosacral region option d all of this our question which is the most common site of neural tube defect it is lumbosacral region option c is the correct answer move on to the next question which type of passive immunity receives the newborn via placenta our options option a immunoglobulin g option b immunoglobulin a option c immunoglobulin m option d immunoglobulin e the newborn receives passive immunity via placenta is igg or immunoglobulin g here option a is the correct answer the type of passive immunity receives via placenta is igg and the second option immunoglobulin a the newborn which who receives passive immunity from colostrum colostrum is the first breast milk so the immunoglobulin which get from the colostrum is iga move on to the next question stomach capacity of newborn is options option a 50 ml option b 75 ml options in 
90 ml option D 125 ml newborn stomach capacity is around 90 ml option C is the correct answer and also another one important point the bowel emptying time of newborn is about two and a half to three hours move on to the next question a nurse not hypotonia irritability and poor sucking reflex in a full term newborn on admission to the nursery the nurse suspect fetal alcohol syndrome and is aware that which additional sign would be consistent with fetal alcohol syndrome and our options option a length of 19 inches option b abnormal palmar creases option c birth weight is 2 kg option d head circumference appropriate for gestational age here in this question a full term baby born to an alcohol addicted mother and is admitted to the nursery and the baby is having hypotonia irritability and poor sucking reflex apart from this which additional symptoms can show by the baby due to this alcohol syndrome fetal alcohol syndrome an infant born with fetal alcohol syndrome should have some physical assessment changes that is first one is facial changes facial changes include low nasal bridge thin upper lip then shortened nose all some facial changes and also abnormal palmar creases and respiratory distress will express then congenital heart diseases irritability tremors poor feeding then cry irritable cry seizures all will experienced by this infant here in our option abnormal palmar creases is there first one hypotonia is there irritability is there poor sucking reflex is there along with that baby will show abnormal palmar creases option b is the correct answer remaining options are not related to this question length of the baby is 18 19 inches then birth weight is 2 kg birth weight this is full term baby so the birth weight is not 2 kg and head circumference is appropriate for gestational age this will be adequate for this full term baby but abnormal palmar creases will experience for this alcohol addicted mother's baby move on to the next question a nurse is evaluating the developmental level of a two year old child which of the following does the nurse expect to observe for this child options option a use a fork to eat option b use a cup to drink option c pours own milk into a cup option d use a knife for cutting food here our question is a nurse is doing physical assessment or evaluating the developmental level of two year old child which is the appropriate among this option which one is the appropriate development task for two year old child here we can see some developmental tasks by two year old child can climb up and down stairs and can make a tower of four cubes and can able to wear socks and a two year old child can draw vertical and horizontal lines and can turn pages of one book alternatively and can speak start to speak simple sentences and can use cup to drink and can also use spoon to take food but some extent it will spill out but he can use or baby can use here the correct answer is use a cup to drink option b is the correct answer move on to the next question most common type of scissors in toddler is options option a subtle scissors option b febrile scissors option c partial scissors option d tonic clonic scissors which is the most common type of scissors in toddler it is febrile scissors option b is the correct answer toddler period is between 1 to 3 years first option subtle scissors it is the most common type of scissors in neonate and infants this is also important point for toddler it is febrile scissors and for neonate and infant it is subtle scissors and the most common cause of scissors is hypoxia. 
Moon to the next question. Kawasaki disease is also known as. Options. Option A. Attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Option B. Mucocutaneous lymph node syndrome. Option C. Round back disease. Option D. None of this. Kawasaki disease. Another name of Kawasaki disease is mucocutaneous lymph node syndrome. Option B is the correct answer. This Kawasaki disease is one of the acute systemic inflammatory illness. Moving to the next question. The basic emotional task of toddler is options. Option A, identification. Option B, industry. Option C, trust. Option D, independence. The emotional, basic emotional task for toddler. Toddler is the period between 1 to 3 years. And the correct answer is option D, independence, the basic emotional task for toddler. The next question, placenta should be dispersed in which color bag? Options, option A, black, option B, yellow, option C, green, option D, red. This question is from biomedical waste management, usually human and anatomical waste such as amputated part, human tissue, placenta, blood related waste. Blood bag, soil dressing or we are keeping in yellow color bag. So here placenta should be dispersed in yellow color bag. Option B is the correct answer. In black color waste, usually non-infectious general waste we are keeping. That is food waste, water bottle, then paper waste, everything keeping inside the black color bag. And in red bag, Recyclable waste you are keeping that is rubber items, rubber tube, rubber catheter, IV set, NG tube, plastic containers, gloves, specimen bottle are keeping inside the red color bag. Move on to the next question. Infection of eye of the newborn is caused by gonococcus. is. Options. Option A. Kernictrus. Option B. Glaucoma. Option C. Ophthalmic neonatorum. Option D. Lymphogranuloma venerum. Gonococcal infections of the eye cause ophthalmic neonatorum. Option C is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. Which disease is caused by iodine deficiency? Options. Option A. Beriberi. Option B. Scurvy. Option C. Goiter. Option D. Kojorkar. Iodine deficiency disease is among this. Goiter is the correct answer. Beriberi is a vitamin deficiency. That is vitamin B1. Thiamine deficiency may cause beriberi. And scurvy is vitamin C deficiency. And Kojorkar is... It is a type of malnutrition which is due to the deficiency of protein intake. And here iodine deficiency which may cause goiter option C. And the next question, what is the right dose of vitamin K injection for babies born with weight, weight less than 1 kg? Options, option A 0.25 mg, option B 0.5 mg, option C 1 mg, option D 1.5 mg. Babies with less than 1 kg the accurate correct dose of right dose of vitamin k is 0.5 mg option b is the correct answer move on to the next question subin feldman dye test is used to identify options option a civilis option b herpes simplex option c toxoplasma option d hiv Subin Filsman dye which is used to identify toxoplasma. Option C is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. Which among the following is associated with a rose pot? Options. Option A. Typhoid fever. Option B. Malaria. Option C. Scarlet fever. Option D. Chicken pox. Rose port is associated with which disease? It is typhoid fever. Option A is the correct Correct answer. Friends, today we discuss questions from pediatric nursing. Surely these questions will helpful for your studies. If it is useful for your studies, please share my videos to your friend circle.